my attraction to Miami it is Miami's reputation as an art town. I mean, with um, Art Basel and Art Week, um, as well as our high caliber museums from the Perez to the Bass to Mocha, et cetera, in the Frost Art Museum at FIU, we have some really world-class things happening here. Um, so that was a huge attraction for me because I know the importance of engaging with, uh, with high quality um, community. Um, and I was kind of missing it. I'd spent 10 years in Los Angeles um, before I moved to Virginia, and I was missing um, having those things in my backyard, so to speak. Like I used to go to the Hammer Art Museum all the time. Um, so now I go to the Perez and the Bass, et cetera. Um, so that was the big attraction. And since I've been here, I've been really amazed with the generosity that I feel. Um, in the communities, I feel like they're that people, the artists here are very welcoming um, and that they're that welcoming applies to everyone um, and that um, we have a very diverse artist community. And I, I feel like that's part of the power of our community. Um, we have people like um, Christina Patterson, who's doing these amazing um, graphite drawings, kind of self portraits that are about herself and the, her growing up in Florida and the Everglades and environmental issues. We have, you know, people like Evelyn Polnier who does these amazing fiber arts pieces and then cre helped create the FAMA, um, the Fabric Artists of Miami group that are doing some amazing things. So we have diversity in what artists do and a lot of artists taking the initiative to make things happening. Um, so I think that um, for me is really exciting. You know, what are some of the problems or issues that Miami has to work through? And I think a lot of that, it, um, one of the big things that comes to mind, and I, think, I think it is affecting a lot of creatives, is cost of living. You know, as you know, rent prices in the last couple of years have just gone sky high. That makes it harder for artists to have um, studio spaces, it makes it harder for artists to find affordable places to live. Um, so there becomes a whole kind of, you know, issue around those kind of things um, that um, I'm, I'm hopeful that, you know, some of our institutions like the Bakehouse and Oolite um, and maybe others that I'm not quite aware of at this moment are trying to help um, deal with. Um, but I do feel like one of the issues here, um, you kind of mentioned, and I saw it in Los Angeles, we're a very large community. So it is hard for us to always get to every event just to get across town, especially without public transportation. Um, there's a little bit of picking and choosing that I think we all have to do. Um, so if there was a way to kind of um, have more synergy and more collaboration with, within the different constituencies and different locations of the arts, I think that would empower the community um, as we move ahead. And it's one of the things that, you know, as, I'm think, as I, th I think about as an educator, is how, how can I connect my students with other groups, not just visual artists, because, you know, the work gets stronger when we're looking at different resources with different types of creative work.